Hello, welcome to Nambole International Stadium as record league winners SC Villa host the winners of the last two seasons URA. Both teams have not had the best start to this season and will be wary of falling further back in the plot if they lose more points today. URA are in fourth position while Villa are in fifth position, one point below them. Bengo looking for Oscar Kadenge. Kadenge, the Kenyan striker, good cross. And you can't believe it's a goal. What a shock for URA in the second minute of this game. Well, they've already proved to be comeback kings. Maybe this one is not beyond their reach as well. If URA wins a throw in. Obuin. He crosses. And Villa defends. Gami. Juko messes around with the clearance. But Agaba cleans it up. And now Villa will go on the attack. Beautiful play there. Bengo. He can't do it. He's beat his man with a goalkeeper. Beautiful, beautiful from Bengo Steven. Throughout this match. Bengo Steven has been the key player for SC Villa. He did manufacture the opening goal in the second minute. He's been in thorn in the flesh to URA. And what a beauty for his second goal there. Very calmly received the pass. Beat his man in one swift body movement. And in a one-on-one -on -one situation with goalkeeper Mulindra Mwonge, it was always to be one winner. And that was... Bengo Steven, what a player. Yeah, definitely when you look at, uh, we'll look at the highlights of the first half. Still nil-nil Uganda Cranes and uh, this team Niger. Uh, when you look at yeah. the highlights, Mark. Yeah, uh, that, that's, a, that's the first opportunity that Niger guys got. They're dangerous on the counter-attack because the Cranes are pouring men forward. And um, on that occasion, Dennis Onyango came up with a great, great save, the goalkeeper, uh, to keep them in play. And then you've got this one. This is uh, Abu Bakr Tabula. That was the shot that went wide of the crossbar. And um, um, well, first signs of um, the Cranes going forward and the crowd were getting into it at that time. Tabula, of course, deferred uh, to David Obua on the left side of midfield. Obua playing inside. And then this is the cross from uh, Babadi. The goalkeeper stumbles a little bit and uh, that trickles out. Almost a one-way traffic, Mark. When you look at Uganda Cranes playing very, very well in the first half. Niger yeah. playing an the ultra defensive Tabula. team tonight. Yeah, the goalkeeper again picking that one up. The, um, the white men have done very well, but I think it's the guys on the right largely. Uh, Simeon Masaba and Joseph Kabagambi have done a great job getting balls in. This is the one from Bajope. Great header from Sepuya. And that's a marvelous save. Uganda should have been 1 0 up there. And then this is the shot from Bajope. The goalkeeper fumbles that. Sepuya gets to it, but it's a corner. One of several that um, the Cranes won to their coach. Yeah, they've, uh, they've had a very good strategy, a good away strategy to play in a game like this, and uh, the Cranes have been frustrated. Uh, frustrated. Uh, Laszlo Zaba thinks he's had enough, and uh, in the next couple of minutes, uh, he's going to uh, make a substitution. Uh, uh, in the next two minutes, uh, uh, Abaka Tabula, uh, uh, well, we're seeing Cesar Okuti coming on. Cesar Okuti, the sensational 19-year-old. He plays for Ediope in the Super League. Ediope has just been relegated and uh, he does hopefully expect to change clubs. But what a discovery he has been. What a finding. Cesar Okuti, he scored two goals already for the national team. He's only been part of this setup for probably five months. And he comes in to replace Asan Bajope, the more experienced player, a midfielder. So we've got a striker coming in for a midfielder. You expect that now the message is simple. Stop the possession. We need the goals. We need the pace. And Okuti is the answer. Okuti is the answer. He's, uh, he's young, he's fast, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, skillful, and he packs a shot. So he's exactly the kind of player that uh, the Cranes needed. He's going to uh, be able... And that's a goal! That's a goal! have been looking for. They've waited. They've been patient. They've probed. And finally, with eight minutes gone in the second half, the dreadlock is beaten. It was a diving header. 
from a player who didn't have the best of seasons, but here now is putting friends in the lead. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and uh, uh, Joseph Kamagambe has been uh, uh, sending in these probing crosses uh, all game. Uh, they, they've just not been met right. And Lasana uh, Dawuda, uh, uh, Dawuda Kasali is extremely upset with the central defense. Uh, but uh, we, it's, it's been a joy to watch the crosses coming in here uh, from Joseph Kamagambe. And he's shown exactly why he's had a starting, uh, uh, starting place in this lineup. And the goal scorer, uh, the captain, Ibrahim Sekaja, leading by example. How many times has Ibrahim Sekaja come to the rescue of the Uganda friends whenever things seemed as if they would never happen? He does that in front of his home crowd again and again and again. Ibrahim Sekaja, a defender, a player who can play in any position, the coolest customer in this Uganda friends team, and again showing great leadership skills, coming in when the penetrative play was lacking, and he does the important thing that everybody else failed to do, heading that ball where uh, Sekaja, where Sepuya and Obua and Bajope had failed in the first half.